Cartwright. Um, I teach sixth grade science at Odessa Montour. I'm going to be using the Promethean camera, Active View. The anemometer is a device used to measure wind speed. White cups, or they're actually clear. The colored cup, the only thing that's colored is the lip. Here is the cork. And notice it only has one drilled hole. Your instrument base is simply kind of a compacted piece of cardboard and notice it does have one hole in it as well. Finally you're going to need a plastic bearing and this is just a little tiny piece of plastic. One side has a hole that you can stick something in, the other side actually has a covering on it. So here is my cork and again it only has one hole, there's not another hole sideways. Okay, I'm going to actually hold it like this for a minute and I'm going to freeze the camera so I can move my hand out of the way. And now I need to equally space them. So if I put one here, I'm going to kind of divide our cork into thirds. I need another one about here, and then finally another one here. So if I did this correctly, I should have equal spaces from this hole to this hole, <coughs> this hole to this hole, and then finally from this hole to this hole. If you don't have it equally, it's going to kind of act like a flat tire and it's not going to spin um, evenly. Okay, so I'm going to clear this off and I'm going to go back to our live. Okay, now I'm going to hold the cork this way real quick and freeze it because I'm actually putting the hole in the center of the cork in three equal places. Any questions with that? No? Step okay. four. Great. So I'm going to take my cork, okay, and I'm going to shove the nail into the side of the cork. And again, it's a little bit harder. Okay? And I'm going to do that three different times evenly. Here's my cork. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to push the end that's covered with plastic so into the cork. Have three cups so I'm pushing it on down. your cork, but I just did one for time wise. We're then going to push the bearing over the cork or over the nail. And you now have your anemometer. But again, you're going to have three cups on yours. So if I have this already put together, the bearing creates less friction. Okay, so if there was wind, it's going to blow into the cup and it would actually make your anemometer spin. Does that make more sense with it all put together? Yeah. Good. Yeah.